Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make a home automation system in which you can control your appliances with a smartphone from anywhere around the world, as well as you can control it with the IR TV remote and the manual switches. You can even see the live status of your device on your smartphone even when you turn on and off your appliances devices from manual switches or IR remote. You can even see the live status from anywhere around the world. So let's get started with this video. Now follow the circuit diagram if you are using off the shelf components like a channel relay module, ESP32 board, push buttons, IR receiver. But I will be using my personal design PCB for this project. So to order this PCB we have to visit jlcpcb.com. jlcpcb.com is also the sponsor of this project and it provides good quality of PCBs at very cheaper rates. So visit jlcpcb.com, sign in with your ID and click on quote now. Add your Gilbert file over here. The links for the Gilbert file will be on my blog so you can get this files from there. After uploading this PCB file, select the quantity how much you want and select the color of your PCB board. After selecting the quantity and color, select on save to cart and place your order. In few days I received my PCBs which were nicely packed inside this box. So now let's open this covering. So as you can see the quality of PCB looks very good. So now we will quickly collect all the components which are required for this PCB. So I have listed them here. and. After getting all this, we will assemble these components on our PCB board and start the soldering process. So now I have soldered all the components on our PCB board and now it's time to connect the ESP32 board on this PCB. As you can see this version of PCB has a very good labeling of all the pins which are connected to relays, switches and other components. So before uploading the code, we'll configure the Blink application. So select a new project, enter the project name. I am labeling ASP32 Home Automation. Now select the board that is ESP32 Development Board. Select Wi-Fi and create. Now click on plus icon and add eight buttons. You can even add nine buttons. One, uh, the last button will turn off all the relays altogether. So first we'll configure the button one, enter the name relay one, select the virtual pin as one and select it to a switch. So similarly, we have to configure for all the buttons and the all off button will be on virtual nine pin. So we have to configure that as well. So after configuring the blink will send you an authentication token on your email id. So now we'll connect the ESP32 board with the computer and open the code. So first with this code we will uh, get all the IR remote hexadecimal values. So we'll upload this code. The receiver pin is uh, D35. So we'll upload this code and open the serial monitor. And after opening the serial monitor select 9600 at baud rate. and. Uh, Press one by one uh, all the buttons on your remote to receive the values. 
so here we are receiving the values of each and every button of our remote so copy this values to a notepad because we will be using this later in the other main code so i've got all the values from 1 to 8 button and the power of button so i have copied all this in a notepad so this is the main code download all these libraries and over here we have to enter the wi-fi name that will be our home wi-fi name and enter the password and here enter the blink authentication token which was sent to us by the blink on our email id and on the bottom on this function i remote we will enter all the values which we received from the remote buttons so one by one copy this so after copying this we'll upload this code go to tools select the board that is do it esp32 development kit select the port and upload the code after compiling you have to press the boot button and it will start uploading the code to our board and here we have done uploading so now we'll connect the power supply so as we are using a 220 volt to 5 volt converter so we will directly give 220 volt to this pin so i'm connecting a two pin in this connector be very careful while doing this because we are using very high voltage on this pcbs and it is uh, completely exposed from the bottom side so do not touch your hands uh, while the connection is live so this is the uh, push button pcb which i have made and I, I also have a header pin connected to it on the pcb so i will directly connect this to our pcb so on the center you will find the header pin the first pin will be ground and rest all pin will be the switch pin you can even connect the switches on this terminal block connectors if you want but i am using this header pin because it is uh, very easy to connect so now we'll connect a bulb holder connect one of its end and connect it to the relay plugs relay will act as a switch to turn on and off this bulb so we are connecting in the uh, switch pattern so here is our complete system ready so as you can see the blue light is turned on on esp32 board it means we have connected to our wi-fi network so now it's time to test this complete system so first we'll test with the manual switches so i'm pressing the button one and you can see the real-time feedback on the blink application as well the two lights are turned on even you can see the pcb leds are turning on so all the four lights are turned on now we'll try with the remote as well so we'll try to turn off it yeah it's off and even you can see the real-time feedback from the blink application and now we'll use the blink application as well to control this So friends, I hope you like this project. Do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.